I can do anything. I can reach any goal today. I can do what I want. I can be what I want to be. Let's have a look at the side to take on Richmond. Friday night foot at the MCG. It's the biggest stage of all. We start across the back line, starting with Dylan Buckley, one of those players I think has really thrived under the leadership of John Barker. Simon White as well. And Michael Jamison. Does he get the job on Jack Revol? Yeah, well, you know, uh, it was great having Jamo back last week, and I thought after a big absence, he, he did very well. Um, and he'll have a tough assignment tomorrow. I think Rewald's in career best form, Shane. So, um, you know, he, he's had a good record on him, and he'll have to be at his best tomorrow night. It's a mouthwatering matchup. They always match up quite well on each other. Uh, Jamo, maybe just in his favour. Let's have a look at the halfbacks to take on the Tigers now, starting with Zach Tui. 25 possessions last week against the Western Bulldogs. Tom Fields, I'll ask you about him in a moment, Rob and Chris. Yeah. 19 touches against the Western Bulldogs. Tom Fields, athletic boy, comes from Queensland, rookie listed player. This year, what else can you tell us? Well, his dad, Neville Fields, played a lot of uh, VFL football. And uh, look, he, he's been really consistent, Shane, in the VFL. Um, he's played on the smalls, he's played on the talls. Uh, he's also uh, a raking left foot kick. So, um, you know, the, the Richmond forwards are really talented. So he'll have, you know, jobs on, on a number of people, but hopefully we can get the hand, uh, ball in his hands because uh, uh, the supporters will see the ball travelling a long way. Was he one that there was always an intention to get him out at some point during the yeah. season? It, it, look, the intention is to play him if they're playing good enough football. Uh, he was on the rookie list. There's been a couple of long-term injuries, so um, there was opportunities for Tom. But, you know, you've got to deserve... Um, um, that opportunity and he has and uh, as I said he's played some very good football now for the last six weeks. No bigger stage than Friday night foot at the MCG to make your debut either. Let's have a look at the midfield now starting with Cade Simpson. Pretty solid performance, one of our best against the Western Bulldogs. Good to see Bryce Gibbs back from suspension and also Andrew Carazzo back from injury. What do you tell Bryce Gibbs at the moment, Rob, to go out and do what he usually does and hopes for the best? Because there still doesn't seem to be a lot of clarity surrounding that tackle at the moment. No, I won't go down the clarity, but uh, look, it's important for Bryce to give us that uh, strength and experience through the midfield. Um, and he promised us in the team meeting today that he'll strong... He'll st tackle with aggression and and that's what we want to do that's what we stand for JB certainly pushed that um, and you know there's no better tackler than Bryce Gibbs so you'll see some good tackles there tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to I'm sure it'll be analysed uh, throughout the match our other midfielders Patrick Cripps what a solid year he's having Matthew Cruiser as well and Mark Murphy with the 25 possessions uh, last week against the Western Bulldogs Matty Cruiser almost going into that number one ruck role at the moment uh, ahead of Cameron Wood uh, look at they'll, they'll share it and you know it is important important to share and I think that uh, you know they're proving to be a good pair but you know when you have a look at Cripps and Carazzo back and Murphy, Gibbs it's a good sort of solid midfield area that we need to win enough football to get into our forward line and uh, as I said there's great experience and some really good youth. Have you been surprised at how quickly Matthew Cruiser has slotted back into this side given the long spell that he had out of the game? Well he's a talented footballer and you know we still have to manage uh, Matty and at the moment you know come game day he's just a great competitor so we're looking forward, you know, for him and Cam Wood to, to give us some ascendancy. Uh, they've lost uh, marriage, obviously, and, uh, you know, as I said, if they can give those players on the ground that we spoke about um, more opportunities than, than most, then, you know, we're going to be in good order. We'd love to see some more, more potency up forward this weekend. Let's go into the forwards now, starting across that half-forward line. Tom Bell, Dennis Armfield on a half-forward flank. Two goals for a little bit inaccurate last week. Lockie Henderson, one goal, one. That seemed to be the key against Port Adelaide and Gold Coast. An array of goal scorers, yeah. each getting two or three each, seemed to lack last week. Yeah, it was just didn't click. And um, the boys have been pretty disappointed during the week, Shane. And, and I have no doubt that as a unit, um, they'll, they'll combine very well. And, you know, we just got to make sure, as I said, we get the ball in there enough on our terms. And I, I reckon they can turn that around very easily. The full forward line, one man that's had a lot of shots at goal and has slotted through quite a few too is Andreas Everett, having a, a wonderful season. Was subbed out last sweep but past a fitness test this week will play. Troy Menzel, great to see him back and Levi Casbolt. Just another one that 
probably should get a few more opportunities in front of goal. Should be aiming for around two or three goals each week. Yeah, sure. And uh, Menzel has got the, the class factor. Uh, Everett's been terrific, as you said. He's just given us a new dimension up there in the forward line. And uh, as I said, like the midfield, there's good experience, there's good youth, and there's a bit of mixing and matching. So it makes it more difficult, I think, for uh, an opposition back line to, to sort of tackle um, all the differences that we can present. And lastly, starting on the interchange bench, Ed Kerno, who's had a great couple of weeks. 28 possessions last week. Nick Holman, Jason Tut and Cameron Wood as well. It doesn't get any bigger than Friday night footy. It's been a couple of weeks since we were on the big stage. Are the boys ready for it? Yes, and you know we, we know we haven't performed as well as we should and um, we'll definitely go in against Richmond uh, on a Friday night with um, some, some real positivity, uh, knowledge that we're playing good football and uh, the fact that we would like to get the four points. The signs are there. We'll talk to you tomorrow night.